Hello. So, I want to focus on some of our the sounds that we've learnt over the last few weeks. Are you ready? Okay, these are the trickier ones. Now this one just had a picture. Do you remember? I think I stink. What's that sound? Mm. Very good. And that looks like a mm and a k. An mm and a k. And that's this one. Mm. Mm. Very good. Now, what's this one? Thank you. Well done. What's this one? Ng thing on a string. And these ones sound very similar, but they look slightly different. There we go. A ng and a g. A think and thing. On the end, k, k, k. Very good. Okay. This is pink, and this is ping, pink, ping. This is a n and an n. So those ones are quite similar and a bit tricky. So well done if you got those. Are you ready? We've got a couple more. Shh. Very good. Like shh. Well done. And then the last one this one. Ch, ch, ch. Very good. And the reason they're, spe they're special and the reason they're quite tricky is that they've got two letters that make one sound. So well done if you've got those and keep practicing those ones. Okay. So today we're going to look again at our E sound. Are you ready? Can you tell me what makes an E sound? We did this yesterday. That's it. It's an F and an F two. Now I'm going to write some words on the board. Can you see it? And I'm going to ask you to read those words. Are you ready? Okay. Let's read the word. What's that word? S e. Very good. Can you see? Are you ready? What word is that? Ready for another one? S -E. Have you seen my ball? Okay, you ready for another one? What's that one? Where have you been? Very good. I'm going to do one more. Are you ready? What sound is that? Go. What word is that? Go. Green. Well done. That's the colour green. So. Now you've had a try at reading some of these. We're going to have a try at writing some. Are you ready? Good job. We've already looked at this sound today. E. Can you say it for me? E. Very good. What can you see? We're going to have a go at writing some of these words now. Are you ready? Okay. Now, this one... What is that a picture of? A tree. Well done. T -r -e. Thread that yourself and then press pause and write it down. T -r -e. This one is a very deep hole, isn't it? It's very deep. And that's got an E sound in it. D -e -p. D -e -p. So thread that yourself, press pause and write that down. D -e -p. And this last picture is of cheese. Can you hear the E sound in cheese? Very good. Now ch is at the beginning and that was one of our sounds from the other week. So ch -e -s. Ch -e -s. So pause this video, thread it 
and write it down. How did we get on? Shall we check them? Tree. T -r -e. Did you get this? T -r -e. Well done if you did. Deep. D -e -p. D -e -p. It's deep. And cheese. Are you ready? Ch did you get our ch sound? Ch -ch -e -s. Now this is a funny s because it's got an F on the end too. That's a very tricky one. So well done if you gave that one a try. Now, there's some problems in these sentences, and we've done these before, but we need to fix these sentences. We're going to have a try at that now. Are you ready? And then you will have to do the other two yourself. So, get ready to try with me. There's a sentence behind me, and it's not quite right. And it's our job to fix it. Are you ready? So... What do we need at the beginning of a sentence? Oh, we need a capital letter, don't we? So this one's not right. We need a capital D. So we need to change that now. So we've got capitals. D. But do. You. Is that how we spell you? You was one of our red words. It's nearly right, but let's make a change. You. This is how you spell you. And that was one of our red words. But this one. Like. We've done about like, haven't we? What we like and what we didn't like. And we wrote that word quite a lot. Like. I think it's got something missing. That's right. I think there's an F on the end like that. Now this word here, I think it's supposed to say cheese. I can't see our E sound. Can you? Our E sound looks like this. I can't find it in here. How do you think the word cheese should look? Yeah, I think we're missing an F in here. Ch -e -s cheese. So that's how I have fixed this sentence with your help. And it's your job now to do the other two. Good luck. Here's our red words. Yesterday we played hide and seek with our red words. We hid them and you told me what they said and then you could spell them out. So for today, I would like you to use them in a sentence. I'm going to give you an example. Be happy. No, Mum. Of course I will. Are you going to the park? B of no R. See if you can record yourself saying those sentences that have got these red words in them.